This free agent update is brought to you by Ryder University. According to reports impending and physical, the Giants have come to terms with free agent offensive lineman Jermaine Illuminor. Illuminor spent the last three years with the Las Vegas Raiders, coached by current Giants offensive line coach Carmen Brasillo. So the Giants have a lot of familiarity with him. The two years prior to that, he was with the Patriots. Two years prior to that, he was with the Baltimore Ravens, where he was drafted in the fifth round of the 2017 draft. The 6'4", 330-pound offensive lineman has played four different spots in the line. We'll get into those details in a second. But first, very interesting how Jermaine Illuminor came to play NFL football. He was born to Nigerian parents in Chalk Farm, England, attending Haverstock School. He grew up playing rugby and cricket and first became interested in American football watching the Giants' 2007 game at Wembley Stadium in London against the Miami Dolphins. He fell in love with the game. His family eventually moved to New Jersey, where he continued to play. He moved at the age of 14, and the rest is history. And now he's a member of the New York Football Giants in the National Football League, again, according to reports pending a physical. And he's a guy that can play all four offensive line positions, which I think is what really makes him valuable. Over the course of his career, 1,900 snaps at right tackle. 551 snaps at right guard, 427 snaps at left tackle, and 11 snaps at left guard. So he's played four different positions. Most of his experience is at tackle. Again, all in all, just 562 snaps at guard, over 2,000 snaps at, at tackle. So more of a tackle than a guard last two years. Uh, played almost exclusively tackle, spared just 75 snaps at right guard in 2022. He did play 274 snaps at right guard in, in 2021. So he's played more tackle than guard in his career, but he can play both which gives the Giants some freedom as to where they want to plug him in. He could be insurance to Evan Neal. He can back up Andrew Thomas. Uh, he can compete for one of the two starting guard positions, along with Frasian acquisition, again, according to reports pending a physical, of John Runyon Jr. So a, a lot of places you can put him. And is that versatility and, again, familiarity, having been coached by the Giants' offensive line coach, that makes Illuminor very, very useful to a Giants team. And, you know, he just hasn't played those position folks He's done a nice job the last couple of years in pass protection. His PFF grades have been pretty good in these two years. Um, last year, allowing 28 pressures, uh, which is pretty good. The last year, just the year before that, just 29. Uh, so he's done a pretty nice job protecting the quarterback wherever the Giants end up putting him. But he will certainly give them freedom and flexibility to move guys around on the line as they need to get the best five on the field for the New York football Giants. So, the Giants trying to solidify their offensive line in addition to their other moves as free agency continues in the 2024 offseason. I'm John Schmelk. Again, the Giants have acquired Jermaine and Luminor, or at least come to terms on a contract with pending a physical and according to reports. So thanks for being with us. Check out our continuing coverage of free agency um, on Giants.com, the Giants app, and of course, all of our social media platforms. I'm John Schmelk. We'll see you next time, everybody. 